What's up guys welcome back so in this video tutorial we are going to look at Laravel 8 setup and installation so first and first what we need to know is the tools that we are required of before we begin installing Laravel 8 so these are the tools that will be required of so first make sure that you have ZAMP installed so ZAMP is what will be running as a local server so make sure that you have this installed you can check them on apachefriends.org so this is the url where you can find the zamp download and you can download based on the operating system that you are running on so if you are running on windows make sure that you download the windows version the same with linux and also other os so you should also ensure that you have kit downloaded and installed so i'll just assume that you have basic knowledge of how to use the computer and you can easily download these softwares that i'm showing you and install them in your computer make sure that you also have composer downloaded so this acts as a dependency manager for php so make sure that you have this downloaded and installed then finally make sure that you have a uh, code editor preferably we'll be using visual studio code but you can use any code editor that you are free with or comfortable with so i think with this we are ready to go so i'll just jump in to laravel site so this is the laravel site and we'll just go to documentation to get the code that we'll need to install the latest version of laravel so right here this shows the version of laravel that we are running on then just come here to get in started and click on installation so here we'll find ways in which we can install laravel and to get started on windows or also using the composer so we are going to use this installation via composer so we are going to use the composer so just select on this code then copy so this code is what we'll use to create the new app in our environment and make sure that you have zamp running once you've installed make sure that you have apache and mysql running on your local server then come to your code editor or you can open the cmd if you are running on windows you can open the cmd the command prompt then once you are on the cmd make sure that the directory is on where you want to create your laravel project so cd cd so you want it to be created on zamp folder you want this to be created on zamp so zamp then under htdocs cd htdocs okay so cd htdocs okay so right here is where we'll paste our command then we can change this this is the application name we can change that to lipa 9 pesa or something to do with m pesa so let's say lipa na m pesa So you can change that to that if you have so if you are running on visual studio code and your visual studio code is connected to the terminal you can as well run this in the terminal in the visual studio code but we can just run it here so just click on enter so this should install laravel for us and make sure that you have internet connectivity as this will need internet connectivity to install so let's give this time to install then i'll pause the video and i'll be back once this installation is complete so finally our installation is complete so let's now open this in visual studio code and view it so here we are on visual studio code so let's open this at this point so add folder to workspace then we saved it on local disk under zamp htdocs 
So it's called Lepana M-Pesa with hyphens. Okay, so let's add this. Click on add. So here it's the application folder and this is the Laravel setup. So Laravel has its setup right here. But in this video tutorial, there are some two basic folders that we'll be dealing with in this video tutorials. So we'll be focusing on the controllers and we can find the controllers under HTTP docs. And in this controllers folder, this is where we'll store our controllers. Then we have the routes. So under the api.php, this is where we'll be configuring our route so right here we have the user routes configured by default the authentication so right here it's where we'll include our routes so that's it for this video tutorial so see you into our next video tutorial whereby we'll begin by creating the controllers and setting up the functions in the controllers so thank you see you into our next video tutorial